I went to the city council members meeting yesterday at City Hall and um, got up and had a chance to speak and let them know what our family's been going through here for the past seven weeks. So um, Herb, council, Herb Weston's office said that they would go ahead and take care of the problem. I received a call yesterday from a Mr. Ezekiel Solomon, um, LWP's lawyer, letting me know that he would go ahead and install on the property today, April 3rd, 2013, a mechanical analog meter with no radio frequency components attached. So with regards to the meter that we currently have on the property now that we purchased um, from Jerry Day, I will have to ask them why they cannot use that mechanical analog meter, which worked perfectly fine for 12 days uh, with no safety or hazard concerns. Okay, if we go to the backyard where the panel is? Yep. Thank you. Looks like a good meter to me. So this is the same one that we had on before. The numbers match. Is this the uh, same one that we had on before? It's, I don't need to speak to Mr. Wooler. Mr. Wooler? Is this the same one that we had on here before? Yes, it is. Because the numbers match from the other one? Yes. Okay, and Mr. Um, Solomon said there's this, this is just no RF, RF components inside of it at all. It's, it's an electromechanical meter. It's the same style meter that we've installed for 100 years. Okay. And how come we couldn't use this one here? It's not a department approved meter. Okay. It was installed without our authorization or approval. Okay. This one's much heavier than this one. This is plastic, this is glass. Oh. Have you guys seen that meter before? Is that familiar to you guys? We've seen those meters, yes. What, what is that meter? It's a sub-meter, what we call a sub-meter. It's not a department authorized meter. So sub for substandard or sub? Meaning it would be installed after our main meter. Oh, as a secondary meter? It's a secondary meter. Oh, okay. It's not a billing meter. So she could install that in her house if she wanted after that one. So I can put this one inside the house or have a secondary one put here? If you want to have appropriate permits pulled and wiring done to install it, yes, I suppose that's possible. Opt out, what does that mean? You've indicated that this is, you do not wish to have the smart meter intelligent meters installed. That's all that, that's what that's telling us. You guys, not us. Okay. Which was uh, the meter that was going to go in? The last one. The other one. What is that device? It's an electric magnetic radiation detector. Oh. You're, you've got an electromagnetic coil in the meter. It's always going to have a slight reading. That's how the meter operates. But the reality is there is no electronic device to transmit or a radio frequency, no, nothing else. Okay. I also believe the farther away you get away from the meter, the lower your reading will be. How does that compare to the meter you just had on there? The meter I had on there, when, I, when we did this here, we got zero all around it. So, so now you're getting, why do, why do you think that is? If the other one had I can't a, comment about the other because I have no knowledge of what that meter has configured. Reality is that meter is the same exact style meter that we've been using for a hundred years with the department. There's nothing out of the ordinary with that meter. Oh, I know we have a uh, company to come out and test, so we'll have a few more companies come out and test it. Does it seem like you're sure. right back in the same boat here? Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to have it measured and see. 
because we were told it's no RF component, so we'll have to have it measured and see for a radio frequency component to make sure. So for now, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll have to take this for now um, and, you know, have power, which is a good thing, seven weeks without power. If you have an issue with the department regarding the meter, please do not remove the meter yourself. Okay. Contact the department regarding what other options. Okay. Is there any way to get the department to approve that meter? What would the process be to get it? No. No. That is not a department authorized meter, so that will not be allowed. Is there a list that you guys have of department authorized meters? That is not that they're authorized by the department, so I can't comment any more about that. But do you guys have a list that you guys have? Just in case, is there, is there a list of, 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 of manufacturers and that you guys have? I don't have that information. Okay. So what if this meter poses health hazards to her? What, what should she do next? Contact you guys again. If she believes there's really a health hazard issue, you know, she'll have to contact the department. And what other options do you guys have besides this meter? Do you have any, or is, that, is this the end of the road? This is the original electrical mechanical meter that you had here for many, many years. No, it's not the original because I was told... The original style electrical okay, so mechanical the, the, meter. Yeah, we asked for the original meter back and we were told we could not have it. It was, it was a scar, it was thrown in the trash can. That's, that's true. Okay. But that, that being said... This was the same style... Same style... Manufacturer... I can't even guarantee it's the same manufacturer, but it's the same style of meter. Okay. Uh, electrical mechanical meter. We've been using them for a hundred years. It does not transmit any reads to us without yeah. physically coming up to read the meter. I look forward to having someone come every single month to read the meter. I look forward to that. We got that little truck. Do you guys have smart meters in your houses? I do. You do? Yes. Have you noticed any difference? Not I'm not. I'm not a water power customer. You know what? I'm not a water power customer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, do you have a smart meter? Not yet. It's coming, but it hasn't happened in my neighborhood yet. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Wooler. Thank you. They gave us back the same analog meter the DWP gave us some time ago. So it's the same exact one. I memorized the barcode numbers. We'll have to have it tested to see if it does could pose any health risks. Um, obviously the biggest test will be how do we feel tomorrow uh, throughout the rest of the day. Someone's happy. Yes. How long has it been since you used that washer? Seven weeks and two days. Hopefully we haven't been given a fake um, analog meter that has RF components in it. <laughs>